Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a psychological thriller film, Enter Nowhere. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins where a short-haired blonde girl called Blondie comes to rob a convenience store with her shitty boyfriend. After kissing each other, they instantly point a gun at the cashier man. The boyfriend takes the money from the cashier and leaves to prepare the getaway car. Meanwhile, Blondie stays to force the cashier man to open the safe. However, the cashier man vaguely declares that the safe contains her ideal life, in contrast to her crappy life as a robber. Blondie cannot understand what the man is saying. Thinking that there is money inside, she threatens the man with her gun to force him to open the safe. As she seems to pull the trigger, the scene suddenly moves towards a desolate forest in the middle of nowhere. There, an innocent-looking woman, nicknamed Ms. Charming, appears to be lost. She finds a strange cabin and takes a look inside. She sees an old radio and bag where she finds food. As she proceeds on eating the food, a young man, who prefers to be called Mr. Muscles, suddenly walks towards the cabin while dragging an axe. She immediately hides under the bed, in fear that the man might be a serial killer and will hurt her with his muscles. Upon noticing that the man is gone, she quickly runs outside, where she stumbles across Mr. Muscles. It seems that Mr. Muscles is harmless, as he offers to treat her wounds inside the cabin. Ms. Charming apologizes for eating his food, and she explains that she has not eaten anything since yesterday. She then reveals that she got stranded in the middle of the forest because their car ran out of gas. Her husband tries to find gas, but he does not return yet. She asks Mr. Muscles for a phone, but it turns out that there is no form of communication there, even the radio in the cabin is broken. Upon knowing that Mr. Muscles is stranded there for a day, she starts to get nervous. She then decides to find her husband, but Mr. Muscles tells her it was freezing outside last night. This makes her worry that her husband might have died from the freezing weather last night, so she smokes a cigarette to calm herself. Mr. Muscles then borrows her matches to light a fire for heat in the cabin. Shortly after, they go outside to check her car. He tries to turn on the car, but it appears that the car is really out of gas. At this point, Ms. Charming, who seems hesitant to trust his muscles, just decides to stay in the car to wait for her husband. But he decides to stay with her in the car. Soon after, as it is getting darker, Mr. Muscles tells her that they need to get back to the cabin. They then leave a note in the car, if ever her husband comes back. As they walk back towards the cabin, Ms. Charming asks him where is the bathroom. He then tells her that the whole forest is the bathroom. He goes ahead to the cabin while Ms. Charming proceeds to find a spot to do her smelly business. Later at night, Mr. Muscles gives her water to drink. It turns out that they have a limited supply of water and food, so they need to ration it properly. He asks her why she agrees to be left alone in the car. She then reveals that she is pregnant, so it is much better to stay in the car. After their conversation, they proceed to sleep. In the middle of her sleep, Ms. Charming dreams about herself trying to call for help on the phone. The following day, Mr. Muscles leaves her alone in the cabin to get the gas in his wrecked car. As she walks out of the cabin, she finds Blondie, who appears to pass out on the ground. She then brings her inside the cabin. As she sits observing Blondie, she fortuitously finds an airplane toy. A strong wind makes the door suddenly close, which wakes up Blondie. Upon waking up, Blondie thinks that Ms. Charming kidnaps her. But Ms. Charming immediately introduces herself as a harmless person. Blondie, with a bitchy attitude, just abruptly leaves the cabin. Meanwhile, Mr. Muscles siphons the gas from his car to transfer it to Ms. Charming's car, so that they can get away from there. He also takes a shoe from his car, thinking that Ms. Charming can use it. Unfortunately, as he is walking back to the cabin, a loud gunshot startles him, which causes him to lose grip of the gas. Soon after, Blondie comes back to the cabin, as she appears to find nothing in the woods. Ms. Charming then calls out her crappy attitude. Ms. Charming also explains their situation in the cabin. She explains to Blondie that there is no form of communication. Blondie then rants like a shade child. Mr. Muscles suddenly arrives in the cabin and gives the shoe to Ms. Charming. He is surprised upon seeing Blondie in the cabin. At this point, the tension between them begins to rise up, as it seems that Blondie does not trust his muscles. Blondie decides to leave the cabin again, but Mr. Muscles warns her about the freezing weather during the night. So she proceeds to stay in the cabin. He then tells her that she needs to contribute her lighter, so he can allow her to stay in the cabin. Later as night comes, Mr. Muscles nails down the door to prevent the cold wind from coming into the cabin. Meanwhile, Blondie teases Ms. Charming and Mr. Muscles about their sleeping position last night. This greatly annoys Mr. Muscles, so he angrily shouts at her. At this point, she declares her distrust of him, since she thinks that he might be a serial killer. So Mr. Muscles reveals that he is also stranded in the cabin. After that, they just peacefully proceed to sleep. The next morning, Blondie dreams that someone is injecting her with a chemical. This dream abruptly wakes her up. She then decides to leave the cabin and find a way out of the forest. 
Ms. Charming warns her that Mr. Muscles fails to find a way despite searching for days. In response, she opts to find the way in another direction. Meanwhile, Mr. Muscles keeps walking in a straight path to find the way out of the forest. Soon after, Blondie is back again at the cabin where Ms. Charming is sitting outside. She appears to be cold, so Ms. Charming offers her a blanket. They then have a little conversation where Ms. Charming reveals that she is on her way to her parents-in-law with her husband before getting stranded in the forest. Apparently, her parents-in-law greatly hate her because of their difference in religion. She also shares that she is due to give birth in November. Coincidentally, November is also Blondie's birth month. What's more, Blondie's childhood hometown is the same as Ms. Charming's parent-in-law's hometown. Shortly after, they begin to have an argument, as they cannot agree where they are located. Meanwhile, Mr. Muscles finds himself back again in the cabin, despite walking a straight path away from it. This greatly confuses him. As the three of them reunite in the cabin, they start arguing about where they are located. This then makes Mr. Muscles think that there is something strange with the cabin. When night comes, they talk about their next plan. Mr. Muscles tells them that they need to walk together to find a way out, since their food supply will run out soon. The following day, they start walking a straight path away from the cabin. Along the way, Blondie reveals that she was raised by her grandparents because her parents had already died. Suddenly, Blondie stumbles upon a door on the ground. Mr. Muscles then forcibly opens the door, which reveals an old military bomb shelter. Inside the shelter, they find different German stuff, like sausages, wine, and maps. Upon looking at the map, Ms. Charming figures out that they are located in Poland. It turns out that Ms. Charming understands German because her father is a German who died in a war. Similarly, Blondie reveals that her father also died in a war. In a few moments, they begin to collect the food supply and start walking again. Soon after, they are in a moment of disbelief as they find themselves back in the cabin despite walking a straight path away from there. They then stay again in the cabin. As night comes, Mr. Muscles reveals that he was raised in an orphanage because his mother was executed. So he was driving towards the orphanage before he got stranded in the cabin. Later, they start to get confused as they figure out that they have different conceptions about the present date. Apparently, Ms. Charming leaves in 1964, while Blondie lives in the year 1985, and Mr. Muscles leaves in the year 2011. As they are arguing about the present year, they hear a gunshot from outside. It turns out that the gunshot comes from a German soldier who is wandering around. The German soldier seems to be suspicious of them. So the following day, they wake up, finding themselves tied up by the soldier. Meanwhile, Mr. Muscles abruptly wakes up from a weird dream. After that, they realize that they are currently in the 1940s, which explains the bomb shelter and the soldier. But they are still confused about how they got into that period. The soldier suddenly arrives and orders Mr. Muscles to walk outside. Along the way, Mr. Muscles fights back and quickly runs away. But the soldier catches him and ties him in the tree. After that, the soldier comes back to the cabin. He finds a locket from Blondie that contains the picture of his girlfriend. This then greatly confuses him and he threatens to shoot Blondie. Apparently, Ms. Charming also wears a similar locket. To figure out what is happening, the soldier brings them to Mr. Muscles to ask him if he also has the same locket. Mr. Muscles then instantly punches the soldier, which puts him to sleep. They then tie up the soldier in the cabin while they are figuring out the mystery behind their situation. To their shock, the girl in the locket is Ms. Charming's mother and also Blondie's grandmother. It turns out that the soldier is Ms. Charming's father, while Blondie is Ms. Charming's daughter. Meanwhile, Mr. Muscles admits he also has the same locket. Apparently, he is Blondie's future child. Blondie is stunned upon knowing this, since she never plans to have a child. At this point, they realize that they are all related from different generations. Shortly after, Ms. Charming and Blondie have an emotional conversation as a mother and daughter. It's revealed that Ms. Charming will die in childbirth and her husband will die in the war. They then leave Blondie alone with Ms. Charming's parents-in-law who are violent towards Blondie. So Ms. Charming is in tears upon knowing that her future daughter, Blondie, will live a shitty life. Later, Ms. Charming finally decides to free the soldier from being tied up, since he is her father. The soldier then slowly leaves out of the cabin. After that, Ms. Charming, Blondie, and Mr. Muscles try to figure out something that can solve the mystery behind their situation. Mr. Muscles then realizes that their weird dreams are their upcoming death in their future. Ms. Charming will die in childbirth trying to seek help, Blondie will be executed for her crimes, and Mr. Muscles will shoot himself after killing a priest. Mr. Muscles suggests they are in that situation to change their futures. Meanwhile, Ms. Charming knows that the soldier will die from an airstrike, so they head towards the bomb shelter to check the maps. Mr. Muscles then speculates that they can change their crappy lives in the future by saving the soldier from his impending death. He thinks that if the soldier leaves, Ms. Charming's mother would never remarry, 
and her mother would be by her side during her childbirth. This means Ms. Charming would possibly not die, and Blondie will live with the mother. This also implies that Blondie would lead a better life, and Mr. Muscles will grow up with a real mother. After that, Ms. Charming notices that Blondie's scar from her childbirth is gone, since they are slowly changing things from the past. At this moment, they discover that they need to secure the soldier in the bomb shelter to prevent his death from the airstrike. But when they head into the cabin to confront the soldier, he seems to be violent towards them. Apparently, he needs to follow the military order. Ms. Charming then informs him that he will die if he proceeds on doing his mission. But he tells them that he must accomplish it. At this moment, Mr. Muscles prevents him from leaving, so they have a scuffle. Mr. Muscles punches him, so he grabs his pistol. This forces Mr. Muscles to prevent the soldier's hand from shooting the pistol. However, the soldier still pulls the trigger, which accidentally shoots Blondie. The soldier then immediately leaves to do his mission. Mr. Muscles then tells Ms. Charming to do her best to save Blondie, because if Blondie dies, he will disappear. After that, Mr. Muscles proceeds to chase the soldier in the woods. Soon after, Mr. Muscles catches up to the soldier, who immediately tries to shoot him. Fortunately, the gun is out of bullets, so Mr. Muscles immediately try to hold the soldier, but the soldier fights back and they have a scuffle again. They exchange punches left and right. The soldier is beating Mr. Muscles' face when he sees a bombing plane passes through. He then quickly runs away from there. Meanwhile, Mr. Muscles realizes that if he runs in the opposite direction, the strange forest will both return them to the cabin. After miles of running, they surely meet again in the cabin. The soldier then repeatedly shoots Mr. Muscles, but he seems to be immune from the bullet. It turns out that Mr. Muscles is slowly disappearing, since Blondie, his mother, has already died. As Mr. Muscles and Blondie is gone, Ms. Charming expresses her anger towards the soldier. However, she sees the airstrike is coming, so she informs the soldier that they need to survive the airstrike, since Blondie and Mr. Muscles will cease to exist in the future. They then rush towards the bomb shelter. Along the way, there are several bombs exploding around them. A bomb explodes near Ms. Charming, which makes her pass out. The soldier then carries her until they finally arrive in the bomb shelter. He immediately closes the door of the shelter to keep themselves safe. Suddenly, he sees that Ms. Charming is slowly disappearing. He then takes a look at the picture of her girlfriend. Meanwhile, the dead Blondie also disappears in the cabin. After the missile hits the cabin, which makes it explode, everything that happened earlier plays in reverse. The seaman finally moves back to the convenience store in the first scene. But this time, Blondie appears to be innocent looking again. It turns out that she finally leaves her ideal life in a nice home with a mother, Miss Charming. Meanwhile, another robber couple attempts to rob the convenience store. The girlfriend forces the cashier man to open the safe, which seems to be a key to a time-space overlapping world. The cashier man then warns her that she cannot bear what's inside. In the end, the girlfriend appears to pull the trigger that causes everything to blackout. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.